How are you? Yeah, too much information. I'm against it. Shut up. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to see it. Quit sharing. It's ridiculous. Mostly because I'm done with the acquisition of information part of my life. I'm getting to an age where I don't care about gaining knowledge. I'm about retaining knowledge. <laughs> I don't need any more stuff because the hard drive's full. And it's not a good hard drive. It's a piece of crap 70s tape drive. <laughs> that I've been pounding with liquor for 20 years. It's got no operating system, no indexing. You give me new information, something important goes. <laughs> We're sitting around, somebody like, hey, did you hear Kim Kardashian's having a baby? And I'm like, what are my children's birthdays? <laughs> I should go to Toys R Us right now. There's too much information. And it's, what I've boiled it down to, the fact of the matter is you don't have to know anything anymore because we live in the digital information age, and the one thing a human being has to know now is, uh, is where's my phone? <laughs> and I love it. I love the technology. I think the technology is amazing. I can't believe I live in this. This is science fiction movies come to life. It's like a communicator. It's like Star Trek. It's awesome, but I'm getting nostalgic. Does anybody remember this conversation? Remember not too long ago, four or five years ago, before the real boom of the smartphones? You'd be sitting in a bar or a restaurant talking to a friend. That's not the funny part. <laughs> Remember, we used to sit and talk to people. Yeah, that was nice. You'd be sitting there just having a beer or something with a buddy, and you'd just be talking away, and then out of nowhere, buddy would just go, hey, I was watching uh, TBS the other night, and Jaws was on, and uh, yeah. What's the name of the actor in that movie? Not the main guy or the other guy, but the other guy, you know, the other guy. And you'd just go, I don't know. and go on with your day. <laughs> Are you, when did we stop not caring about not caring? <laughs> Remember when I don't know was an answer to a question and people were comfortable with it? <laughs> you just shrug your shoulders and go on with your day. Now every single inane, just stupid question is immediately met with, well, I'll just go look that up then. <laughs> let's go on to IMDb, let's see Jaws. That's the movie we're talking about right now, is Jaws. That's Steven Spielberg's second film. His first one was Duel. That was a good movie. Well, it was really good, but you know, it had kind of a cheesy ending anyways. 1974, Jaws, you know, won the Academy for Best Visual Effects, and I'm just like, Jesus, I know I can <laughs> It's like Robert Shaw, no one cares. But we have this idea in our heads that now, this is the other part that really bothers me, is everybody thinks their opinion matters. Like, and I know this is kind of arrogant because I got a microphone and i like, hey, my opinion does matter. But <laughs> most of people's don't. Because <laughs> they're unqualified. They don't know. Online food reviews, are you kidding me? This actually, I looked this up for this, this, I did research some stuff for this, and I looked it up, and here in Winnipeg, you have a wonderful comedy club called Rumors, and somebody actually reviewed the food. <laughs> this is how ridiculous world has gotten with people thinking their opinions matter. I, the review was, uh, the wings were not as good as the ones I make at home. <laughs> the hubris in that statement. I make better wings than the comedy club. I find when I go to the chicken place, the jokes are terrible. <laughs> Shut up. But it's expanding. It's getting out of hand. This is the most ridiculous thing that's happened to me. I've been on this planet for 45 years. I remember parts of it. There's some big holes, but I remember this. This happened to me about a month and a half ago, and I can't believe that it, it like, I honestly wanted to thank her at the end of the conversation, because then I would have jokes for this show, but here's how this worked. I pulled into my driveway. I was just driving along, just going along, pulled into my driveway, and I got out to have a cigarette, because I'm still a smoker, I know that's evil, but whatever. 
I'm smoking in the driveway. Woman in a dented Honda minivan pulls up behind my car, my property, my driveway. Rolls down her window, goes, I almost hit you. <laughs> you followed me home to tell me nothing happened. <laughs> Should I pretend to phone my insurance company? <laughs> the arrogance of that statement, and geez, the time you must have on your hands to go visit the other seven billion people on the planet and tell them you didn't get an accident with them either? <laughs> almost. Okay, here's how this works. Only time people use almost in a sentence, for the most part, is to create ridiculous drama. You ever notice that? I almost passed my test. Failed. <laughs> you failed is the word you were going to use there. I almost didn't get pregnant. It, baby, that's the word. <laughs> I almost got married. Happy is the word. <laughs> I'm almost finished. Done. That's how this goes. Thanks so much, Winnipeg. Good night.